GABA receptor, Wikipedia audio. The GABA A receptor is an ionotropic receptor and ligand gated ion channel. Its endogenous ligand is gamma aminobutyric acid, the major inhibitory neurotransmitter in the central nervous system. Upon activation, the GABA A receptor selectively conducts CL through its pore, resulting in hyperpolarization of the neuron. This causes an inhibitory effect on neurotransmission by diminishing the chance of a successful action potential occurring. The reversal potential of the GABA A mediated IPSP in normal solution is 70 MV, contrasting the GABA B IPSP. The active site of the GABA-A receptor is the binding site for GABA and several drugs such as Musimol, Gaboxidol, and Bicucoline. The protein also contains a number of different allosteric binding sites which modulate the activity of the receptor indirectly. These allosteric sites are the targets of various other drugs, including the benzodiazepines, non-benzodiazepines, neuroactive steroids, barbiturates, alcohol, inhaled anesthetics, and picrotoxin, among others. GABA-A receptors occur in all organisms that have a nervous system. To a limited extent the receptors can be found in non-neuronal tissues. Due to their wide distribution within the nervous system of mammals they play a role in virtually all brain functions. Target for Benzodiazepines The ionotropic GABA-A receptor protein complex is also the molecular target of the benzodiazepine class of tranquilizer drugs. Benzodiazepines do not bind to the same receptor site on the protein complex as the endogenous ligand GABA, but bind to distinct benzodiazepine binding sites situated at the interface between the alpha and gamma subunits of alpha and gamma subunit containing GABA-A receptors. While the majority of GABA-A receptors are benzodiazepine sensitive, there exists a minority of GABA-A receptors which are insensitive to classical 1,4 benzodiazepines, but instead are sensitive to other classes of GABergic drugs such as neurosteroids and alcohol. In addition peripheral benzodiazepine receptors exist which are not associated with GABA-A receptors. As a result, the IUPAR has recommended that the terms BZ receptor, GABA-BZ receptor and omega receptor no longer be used and that the term benzodiazepine receptor be replaced with benzodiazepine site. In order for GABA-A receptors to be sensitive to the action of benzodiazepines they need to contain an alpha and a gamma subunit, between which the benzodiazepine binds. Once bound, the benzodiazepine locks the GABA-A receptor into a conformation where the neurotransmitter GABA has much higher affinity for the GABA-A receptor, increasing the frequency of opening of the associated chloride ion channel and hyperpolarizing the membrane. This potentiates the inhibitory effect of the available GABA leading to sedative and anxiolytic effects. Six Types of Alpha Subunits 3 beta s, 3 gamma s, as well as a delta, an epsilon, a pi, and a theta. Different benzodiazepines have different affinities for GABA-A receptors made up of different collection of subunits, and this means that their pharmacological profile varies with subtype selectivity. For instance, Benzodiazepine receptor ligands with high activity at the alpha-1 and slash or alpha-5 tend to be more associated with sedation, ataxia, and amnesia, whereas those with higher activity at GABA-A receptors containing alpha-2 and slash or alpha-3 subunits generally have greater anxiolytic activity. Anticonvulsant effects can be produced by agonists acting at any of the GABA-A subtypes but current research in this area is focused mainly on producing alpha-2 selective agonists as anticonvulsants which lack the side effects of older drugs such as sedation and amnesia.
The binding site for benzodiazepines is distinct from the binding site for barbiturates and GABA on the GABA-A receptor, and also produces different effects on binding, with the benzodiazepines causing bursts of chloride channel opening to occur more often, while the barbiturates cause the duration of bursts of chloride channel opening to become longer. Since these are separate modulatory effects, they can both take place at the same time, and so the combination of benzodiazepines with barbiturates is strongly synergistic, and can be dangerous if dosage is not strictly controlled. Also note that some GABA-A agonists such as Musimol and Gaboxidol do bind to the same site on the GABA-A receptor complex as GABA itself and consequently produce effects which are similar but not identical to those of positive allosteric modulators like benzodiazepines. Structural understanding of the GABA-A receptor was initially based on homology models, obtained using crystal structures of homologous proteins like acetylcholine binding protein and nicotinic acetylcholine receptors as templates. The much sought structure of GABA-A receptor was finally resolved, with the disclosure of the crystal structure of human beta-3 homopentameric GABA-A receptor. GABA-A receptor is a pentameric transmembrane receptor that consists of five subunits arranged around a central pore. Each subunit comprises four transmembrane domains with both the N and C terminus located extracellularly. The receptor sits in the membrane of its neuron, usually localized at a synapse, postsynaptically. However, some isoforms may be found extrasynaptically. The ligand GABA is the endogenous compound that causes this receptor to open. Once bound to GABA, the protein receptor changes conformation within the membrane opening the pore in order to allow chloride anions to pass down an electrochemical gradient. Because the reversal potential for chloride in most neurons is close to or more negative than the resting membrane potential, activation of GABA-A receptors tends to stabilize or hyperpolarize the resting potential, and can make it more difficult for excitatory neurotransmitters to depolarize the neuron and generate an action potential. The net effect is typically inhibitory, reducing the activity of the neuron. However, depolarizing responses have been found to occur in response to GABA in immature neurons due to a modified CL gradient. These depolarization events have shown to be key in neuronal development. In the mature neuron, the GABA-A channel opens quickly and thus contributes to the early part of the inhibitory postsynaptic potential. The endogenous ligand that binds to the benzodiazepine site is inosine. GABA-A receptors are members of the large size loop superfamily of evolutionarily related and structurally similar ligand-gated ion channels that also includes nicotinic acetylcholine receptors, glycine receptors, and the 5-HT3 receptor. There are numerous subunit isoforms for the GABA-A receptor, which determine the receptor's agonist affinity, chance of opening, conductance, and other properties. CL218,872, bredesenil, imidazenil and L838,417, QH2066, alpha-5IA, SL651,498. In humans, the units are as follows. There are three row units, however. These do not co-assemble with the classical GABA-A units listed above, but rather homo-oligomerize to form GABA-A row receptors. Structure and Function GABA-A receptors are responsible for most of the physiological activities of GABA in the central nervous system, and the receptor subtypes vary significantly. Subunit composition can vary widely between regions and subtypes may be associated with specific functions. 
The minimal requirement to produce a gobbagated ion channel is the inclusion of an alpha and a beta subunit. The most common GABA A receptor is a pentamer comprising two alpha S, two beta S, and a gamma. In neurons themselves, the type of GABA A receptor subunits and their densities can vary between cell bodies and dendrites. Interestingly, GABA A receptors can also be found in other tissues, including Leydig cells, placenta, immune cells, liver bone growth plates and several other endocrine tissues. Subunit expression varies between normal tissue and malignancies, as GABA-A receptors can influence cell proliferation. A number of ligands have been found to bind to various sites on the GABA-A receptor complex and modulate it besides GABA itself. A ligand can possess one or more properties of the following types. Unfortunately the literature often does not distinguish these types properly. Ligands which contribute to receptor activation typically have anxiolytic, anticonvulsant, amnesic, sedative, hypnotic, euphoriant, and muscle relaxant properties. Some such as musimol and the Z drugs may also be hallucinogenic. Ligands which decrease receptor activation usually have opposite effects, including anxiogenesis and convulsion. Some of the subtype selective negative allosteric modulators such as alpha-5IA are being investigated for their nootropic effects, as well as treatments for the unwanted side effects of other GABergic drugs. A useful property of the many benzodiazepine site allosteric modulators is that they may display selective binding to particular subsets of receptors comprising specific subunits. This allows one to determine which GABA-A receptor subunit combinations are prevalent in particular brain areas and provides a clue as to which subunit combinations may be responsible for behavioral effects of drugs acting at GABA-A receptors. These selective ligands may have pharmacological advantages in that they may allow dissociation of desired therapeutic effects from undesirable side effects. Few subtype selective ligands have gone into clinical use as yet, with the exception of zolpidem which is reasonably selective for alpha-1, but several more selective compounds are in development such as the alpha-3 selective drug adipiplon. There are many examples of subtype selective compounds which are widely used in scientific research, including Subunits Distribution Ligands Types Examples Effects Novel drugs